So you got a craven. And if you're in the same situation that we are right now, which is being snowed in by Snow Apocalypse 2.0, you can't go get it. But you got all this food in the house, so you can make it with wild game. We're starting the series called The Cravings, which is when we re which is when we which is when we which is God. When we replicate fast food or restaurant food with everything wild game and what you have at home. And let's be honest, it's probably gonna be better anyways. So naturally, being from Northeast Ohio, the only thing that we should actually start the series off with is the Galley Boy from Swenson's. If you had it, you know it's good. If you haven't had it, let me describe it to you. It's salty, it's actually kind of sweet. It's got two different sauces on it and it's sandwiched between delicious brioche buns. So, here's what you're gonna need. Okay, so for the barbecue sauce, you're gonna need one full cup of ketchup, followed by two tablespoons of brown sugar. Next, you're gonna need one tablespoon of taco sauce, which I know is kind of weird, but I actually had to do some research on this sauce because it's so specific to the sandwich, and yeah, taco sauce. And then add one tablespoon of regular soy sauce, followed by one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Huh, I couldn't do an intro for this video for the life of me, but that rolled off my tongue nice and smooth. Explain that to me. Anyways, next you'll need one half tablespoon of black pepper. Once it's all in the bowl, mix until combined. Then add the sauce to a saucepan on medium to low heat. All this is doing is breaking down the brown sugar. After about four to five minutes, you can add it back to the bowl and place it covered in the fridge for about an hour. Okay, now on to the white sauce, which is kind of like a tartar sauce minus the sours, so it's more like an acidic cream. First, dice a pickle, nice and small, and then do the same to a white onion. Then in a bowl, place one cup of mayonnaise, followed by the diced onion and pickle. Next add just a pinch of coarse sea salt and then one tablespoon of white vinegar. And then after all that hard work that you did on this sauce, mix it all up and then cover and add to a fridge for about an hour. Next place two pounds of thawed ground wild game in a bowl. And for this recipe, the leaner the better. This beet has absolutely no fat added to it, so if you got that lying around, that's the one. Next, add one half cup of brown sugar, followed by one half teaspoon of coarse sea salt, and a whole teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. And then get your hand in there. Mix it up, get it nice and combined until you can't see or feel any of the spices that you added to the mix. Fold it over from time to time and it should look something like this. Next, you'll be rolling these into meatballs. So grab a chunk and roll it to the size slightly larger than a golf ball. And continue with the rest of the meat. Two pounds should get you eight evenly sized golf ball meatball balls. Next, on a hot griddle, add a little bit of butter. Then take your cut brioche bun, place it cut side down, and sear it just a little bit. Which isn't true to the recipe, but there's no way I'm not going to do this to a burger. I mean, come on. Look at that. We have to. Once all the buns are seared, re-season with butter. Then grab two meatballs and place them in the hot butter. Now this isn't a smash burger, but it's close to it. So grab a metal spatula and a potato masher, or just something heavy and flat, and press the burgers down until about one quarter of an inch thick. If you have to, press in different angles to get it all nice and even. 
and this is the only time that you're going to want to smash it. Otherwise, you're going to let all the juices out and you're going to have a dry burger. And nobody wants that. Then after two minutes, flip your burgers and they should be nice and seary, just like this. After one minute, add a slice of cheddar cheese, of which has been measured, cut, and sliced for the best dining experience possible. And then stack your patties, and if you have to, you cover with a saucepan to melt the cheese perfectly. This should take no more than 30 seconds to a minute. But while it's melting, you can sauce the buns, adding the white sauce to the bottom, and then the barbecue sauce to the top. Then to assemble your galley boy, place the meat on top of the white sauce bottom bun. Cover it with its delicious lid, even if it slips out of your hands. Finishing with a piercing of a pimento stuffed olive. Well, there you have it, a galley boy. Fast, easy, and delicious in your own home. What's better than that? So without waiting anymore, let's dig in. It tastes exactly the same. I don't even care. This is delicious. You can't ask for anything better than that. Galley boy, in your own home, during a snowstorm, that's a good way to spend a Friday. But most importantly, I hope you give the game that you acquired from the field the respect that it deserves.